Hey guys, Mippy Mountain 2 here, and I have a review for you guys today. I've recently purchased a new gun, uh, actually today, actually. <laughs> I bought the KWA M4A1. Now, um, I've been shooting it around, breaking it, uh, breaking it in and everything, and I've been using a 9-6-1600 milliamp battery. The trigger response on it is amazing. And the rate of fire, even on a 9.6, is remarkable. 18 BBs a second, easily. And then when I purchase a light poly battery, they're saying it will shoot upwards of 24 rounds per second. And that's just... Why would you need that? <laughs> but, um, here it is, fully in frame. I'll strafe it for you. I plan to take this off. And um, it will come with a carrying handle, not this sight. This is just my sight. I put it on there out of personal preference. Um, but let's start in the review. It has a full metal body. I believe it's aluminum. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it has the handguard, very limited battery space. If you're not um, going to use a light bound, maybe get like a PEQ box or something. Something just bigger than this because it took... To two people to get the battery, my 9.6, 1600 milliamp battery, into this handguard. That's one of my main complaints with this gun. Standard removable triangle sight, metal outer barrel, metal flash hider, even though this is painted orange. Um, has KWA's famous 2GX gearbox in it. Straight around. Has their uh, motor in it, great motor for. But you're only paying three. I paid two ninety five for this at my local airsoft store ANS gear. Um, it has a regular M four LE retractable six position stock. It's a great stock. Um, I was just shooting it a couple minutes ago. It's, it's pretty good. Um, when you purchase this gun, it will come with a three hundred and fifty round M four high cap mag. Um. It had a couple heating issues when I was shooting it before. And another issue with this gun, I believe, um, I just put maybe 500, 600 rounds through it just a couple of minutes ago. The motor was already vibrating downwards and I had to readjust it. So um, I don't know if that's a, just a defect. If, it'll, if it continues, I will get it fixed. Or maybe if it, or maybe a return. Um, like I said, the inside is the 2GX gearbox. It's great. It's it's very reliable, I hear. It shoots really hard and fast. Uh, speaking of hard, it is shooting around, I just cr chronoed it with a poor man's chrono, shooting about 400 feet per second. And that's great, because that's the limit for my field, so it's pretty good. Um, this gun does feature a working bolt from um, um, a working I don't know what you would call this charging handle but no working bolt catch so eh, not really hard the hop up on this is amazing let me show you this I was just doing a target shoot I shot this the black dots represent where I hit this was at 200 feet away so very accurate and I was only using um, point tubes um, Airsoft GI, GI point two is that I won my, my last mystery box. Overall, I would say, great gun for the money so far. If anything else pops up, I will do a later video of it. Oh, one last thing. Trademarks. It has KWA's standard trademarks, no, like Armalite or Colt trademarks, but they're still nice. It says KWA, KM4A1, Cal 6mm, um, and then it has a, a unique serial number, and it says made in Taiwan. Fires full safe, semi and fully automatic. I really think the semi automatic, uh, the fully automatic is kind of overkill. I don't know. But my plans for this gun. What I plan to do is I wanted to kind of make an, a um, Magpul MOE carbine, so what I'm planning to do, um, MOE grip, MOE stock, MOE foregrip, and M MOE embus flip-up sights. I don't really think this gun needs much internal upgrades as of how now it's performing. Um, this has been a review of the KWA KM4.
A1, Mippy Man from Mippy Man 2, signing off.